which another curriculum burst? Here's a great question for grade 10 competition. Here's as follows, the geometry question. Circles so A, B, and C, each are radius 1. So I've drawn the three circles here already. Each is radius 1. Circles so A and B share one point of tangency. What does tangency mean? It's the place where they touch. So they touch right there. Okay, good. Circle C has, one, has a point of tangency with the midpoint of the line segment AB. All right, what does that mean? So I have to draw the line segment AB, I guess. Whoops, if I do that, a little bit wonky. It has a point of tangency with the midpoint. So the midpoint where it just touches must be the midpoint of the segment AB. Okay, so I'm just trying to understand the question, draw, draw some details on the picture. The quite actual question is, what is the area inside circle C but outside circles A and B? Right, the area of this shaded part, strange looking wedgy piece here. All right, All right just keep it in our minds. The question is, circles of radius 1, things are set up nicely with everything just touching in the way shown. Our job is to find the area of this strange looking part here. Now, my emotional reaction to this is, you know, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, how I'm going to go with this, but it feels like it's something doable. It's not out of the realm of sort of things I've, I've seen before. And I've actually employed an interesting strategy here. I mean, most people won't think of this. I'm going to call strategy number five into play, which is solve a smaller version of the same problem. Now, what I mean by that in this case, is I don't mean a literally shrunk version of this problem, I'm going to break this area into pieces that I can manage. And for example, I can see right off the bat, if I draw this line at the top, going through C, this diameter, I've broken the tri this, this shaded region into a semicircle whose area I know be half the area of the circle, and this strange little smaller piece in the middle. All right. In fact, I'm going to keep employing my uh, strategy of solving a smaller version of the problem by maybe if I cut this in half by drawing a line down like that. Symmetry is probably going to say this area equals that area. So I really just reduce the problem to finding the area of this little piece right here. Now, I've made some assumptions along the way. I've just assumed that everything goes through the center of the circle C. I'm also going to assume, probably by symmetry, that probably everything is 90 degrees and it's just working out perfectly. So the circle is radius 1, I know that's 1, I know that's 1. This is also a radius, so that's 1. So in fact, if I sort of draw this picture here, I see that I want a little portion in, this, in the part of a unit square. Let me just draw that. The unit square, 1, 1, 1, 1. I've got the circular arc within it. And it looks like I want just the area of this part in a circular arc. Now, if I'm just trying to get the answer quickly, I can actually work this out. I bet it's a way to do it. I feel I can do that. Double it, get the two pieces, and add it to the area of the semicircle. Great. There's actually some depth to explore in this question. For example, is this really coming down at 90 degrees? Is everything working out the way I think it's going to work? Does the symmetry work doing what I think it is? So this sketching turns a really good, juicy geometry question, and all the properties I've assumed are happening are really happening. But if you want to go with what feels right at the moment is most likely to be true, we can actually get to the area of this thing pretty easily. So I've basically given the answer away. But there's another way to look at this problem, and this is what my challenge for you. Without drawing in all these fancy lines, can you actually draw a square within circle C itself and see fairly quickly what the area has to be? Now that's an interesting challenge. If you see what to do, great. Check it with the curriculum burst essay that goes for this video. Or if you're stuck, also check the essay. Either way, go look at the essay. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.